But let's all be aligned, yeah, to do the same thing, which is win the game, like we yeah. said, by any means necessary. <laughs> Man, you f cheat, cheat, cheat. King of the jungle, like King Kong. This is a rope for the theme song. Shoot if an escort's begin form. We got corners and shoes on action. I keep it all for my team. Better than us, what the hell do you mean? Sweat on our collars and hearts on our sleeves. Yeah, legacy more than a dream. <laughs> What's up my people, it's your boy Skipper J And like I did say last week, we are back every single Sunday Delivering you great Sunday league football entertainment For those of you who tuned into last week's episode You would have seen the boys took a heavy defeat against Grand Athletic That was definitely not the way that we wanted to begin the opening season fixture in this new league For those of you who are yet to watch last week's game I did explain that we have entered a new league, the Sunday Football League alongside a host of other great Sunday football teams. So make sure if you haven't already, you go back and watch last week's episode. But last week has now gone and it's time to put things right. Today the boys take on M boys, looking for the first three points of their season. Yeah, like, Alright, well, you good though, yeah, Jude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hi, don't, don't shout at me, I'm pregnant. <laughs> that grand game was interesting. the boys all the time. Me, I got, I got a play for everybody. Hey, Jay runs into about five players. Me, you know what I mean? I got to coach people on the pitch. Hey, hey, is he allowed to change direction when he runs? He just runs <laughs> you know, I got, I got to play my game and stop Chrissy from arguing with our players. Hey, 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 Jay just runs like this. Damn. <laughs> now then, when Chris loses the ball, he just walks back. I don't, I don't know if it's Jay's hair or his headband that gets in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> if he ain't scoring, if he ain't scoring hey, worldies, he ain't hey, doing nothing. Hey, Jay, hey. Jay does this, Jay runs like this, five folded. If I said Jay's a rugby player, I'd be straight down. What I want to focus on is what we do on that pitch and when we go out there, the mindset that we have to win this game. Now, the difference with this league is that even if you finish first, doesn't mean you win the league. Yeah. Yeah? If you finish fourth and you have a, you have a longer run for the grand final against the top team, you can still win the league. Last week I saw people coming out of challenges like, oh, don't we really want to go in like, I, I can't do that. I can't, it's just not in my, my makeup. You may as well just come off the pitch. This guy is fighting through bare injuries, he's lots of stuff going on, he's gonna be a dad soon, stressed. And he was like, watch on Sunday, I'm coming with that mindset. And he's not fully fit. And he was one of our, if not the best player on the pitch for us. But we have to go out there and play the way that we know we can play. Move that ball, just for moving its sake. Move that team, get them tired. Lots of people have earned the right to play today. If you're not in the starting 11, just know that it's a long season and we're going to need you at some point. Yeah, we're going to play it safe and we're going to just going to go with a 4-3-3. Three, three. Starting lineup's going to be Seddy, back four will be Sheldon, Bods, Reese, and Eman. Middle three will be Jay, Chan and Hubs. And then front three, Cecil, Galley, Javan. I woke up this morning and I thought, how, do you, how are you going to blow smoke up these players' asses after last week, yeah? And for me, I come out today on a Malcolm X thing, on a, <laughs> on a by any means necessary. Yeah. That's the objective for yeah. today, by any means necessary. I don't care if you've got a kicker man, I don't care if you've got a tactical foul, I don't care if it's got to be one of them nasty, gritty, dirty wins that we hate, basically. I do not care, by any means necessary, we are coming back to the end of a win. There was one thing that I I remembered about last week, yeah? We don't get an opportunity to play a team again, you know? You know, yeah. like the home and away fixture, don't have that in this league. No, no. So we get one opportunity to show these men what happens when you come here. Yeah. So by any means necessary, they've made the journey down here, we beat them, they can f off. Yeah. 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 Understood? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. So after only one game played, the boys currently sit bottom of the league. It's early days, but it's always great to get early points on the board. In last week's video, I did explain that we haven't played M boys before. So it's going to be interesting to see who they are and what they got to bring. But just before we get into the meat of the video, I want you to pause the video right now and hit that like button. 
I've said it before and I'll say it again It really helps the Wool FC family to grow So hit that thumbs up And if you're new to our channel Make sure you click that box that says subscribe And become part of the Bricks This is the second game of our season And the boys need to put some points on the board So let's hope they've learnt from last week's drumming And can bag all three points To be a team and to do the things that we've done over the last two seasons We've had to be connected We have to be all doing the same thing yeah, we have to be respectful to each other. Even if someone makes a mistake, let's talk with respect and figure it out. But let's all be aligned, yeah, to do the same thing, which is win the game, like we yeah. said. Yeah. By any means necessary, like Sean said. Wall on me, wall on three! One, two, three, wall! So the gaffers decided to switch it up from last week and change formation. They've gone for a 4-3-3. Three, three. SJ in goal, E-man, Bods, Reese and Sheldon at the back. Jay and Chan in the middle with the wizard. And up top, they got Javan on the right, Gally on the left and Cecil in the middle. And providing cover for the team on the bench, we got Edwin, Gabs, Meeks, and Jordy. So yes, my people, the Wall FC are back with another video. They're gonna be coming every week, every single Sunday, providing you with the best Sunday league entertainment. I've said it already, but today the boys are taking on M boys. We've never played them before, let alone have heard of them until this new league was created. So we literally have no idea who they are, who they have, and how they play. Uh, unfortunately, there was a kick cash again, uh, second time in the second week. But luckily, this time we were at home, meaning the M boys had to wear the bibs. So it's just one minute in, and I think this is the earliest I've heard the drums. No, man, the ball's in. You see, when you take that first touch here, he's made the run uh, inside Cecil. So that's always a, a little disguised pass if you want to do it, yeah? Because they're going to expect the channel ball every time. Just three minutes on the clock and M-Boy's got possession on the right side. They clip it in, their striker wins the header, but nothing comes of it. Five minutes on the clock and Bods wins the ball back, stepping into midfield. He plays it to the Wizard. The Wizard tries to find Javan in behind, but it gets cleared out by the M-Boy's defender. And if any of you young centre-backs at home need to know how to handle a kick out of a keeper's hands, it's like this. I love that. Let's go with it, let's go with it, Bods. Let's keep there, put your body there. Put your body there. Good. Lovely, Bods. And just like last week, it's another clip that Iman asked me to leave out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's all possession. Jay plays it into the wizard, who looks up and plays a nice ball in behind to Javan. He just manages to get there before the ball goes off. But the cross just ain't it. Cecil and Javan love that movement. Galli, I want to see those crossover runs as well, yeah? Great movement, guys. Approaching the 10th minute and it's the wall ball in the middle of the pitch. Javan looks up and tries to play Cecil behind. And with his long legs, he thought he would have kept this in. Oh, come on, bro. Good. How you doing? Yeah, good. You're right, looking well, man. Yeah, it's been a while. Like you're coming up from Jamaica. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The tan is tanning. <laughs> Living it up. Don't really get the six pack. Six pack of Foster. Six pack of Foster. Although Cecil is rough around the edges, the one thing I can't fault him for is his work rate as he wins the ball back here. He plays it into Chan. Chan looks up and plays him behind. He goes for the shot, but their defender closes him last minute. It's a wall attack, but M Boys win it back. And it's Cecil with a slide tackle on the edge of their box. It comes to Javan. He shoots. Yeah. Oh, good save. Raw, oh. Mandanda in goal, yeah? Raw, oh, that's oh. Mandanda. Harry Moore, <laughs> <Man> <laughs> a good save from their keeper who looks like he just pulled up from Catford Pitts. Yeah. Yeah. But can goalkeepers. Their man are flexibility. Another wall attack, and I can't see who's on the end of the cross, but they sent this one back to the car park. Yeah, he's nice. Oh. Unlucky! Unlucky! All right, let's try and control possession, yeah? Yeah. Let's try and control possession. And M Boys ain't ever played against a skipper before. Jay takes the ball down the line after beating two men, looks up to find Cecil, but it takes a deflection. Guys, just share the ball! And even though Cecil spends a lot of his time on the ground, I'll let you lot decide in the comments below if you thought this was a penalty or not. You're even entering his system, bruv, relax! And Galli's here doing things that I first saw Ronaldinho doing. He had some points on the board. Perfect! Looks up and finds Javan in a dangerous position. He gets the ball out of his feet and shoots! But it goes wide of the post. Oh, you didn't have to take that. You didn't have to take it so early. Take another touch towards the goal. Gally, great play. And apologies for not knowing your name, but this first touch was something I just had to leave in. 
can we try and play into front men, yeah, and then play off them? Tell them, we've got to break the lines with our passing. In Sunday league, you usually only have a referee and no other officials. So Sace has got some words for the M-Boys, Lino. Mate, you're behind him. You were behind him. Hey, Lino. Lino. <laughs> Lino. You're behind him. You're giving offside. No one's, no one's listening to you. Mad you. Chan picks up the ball on the edge of the box and puts it back in. And I've seen Reese put it up corner before. Boys, wait, hey, it's too much thinking going on. Yeah, just move the ball and it will open up. <laughs> just like they're on the ball, they actually you can see them thinking on the ball. Like. Just chill out. And when the team don't have many chances, it can lead you to switching off at the back. And I heard when you play in goal, the goalposts are your best friends. And I know Cecil loves the ground, but two hands in his back, surely it's got to be a foul. It's two hands, it's a push. It's Cecil, he's not going to get it, it's Cecil. So with over half an hour played, the boys seem to be in complete control and domination of this game. And boys have only really troubled us with one attack, but the wall just don't seem to have their shooting boots on, with all possession and quite a few attacks just not seeming to be clinical. So Chan wins a free kick and the wizard steps up and their keeper just parries it away. If you ever meet the wizard, you'll know he's a lovely guy, but you don't ever really want to be on his bad side. I ain't got time for this, just play ball, man. Put the ball in the net. So it's a free kick for M boys. It's a punt upfield, and it goes straight into SJ's hands. From their resulting free kick, it's a big kick upfield from SJ, and their keeper's just showing that he might be their man of the match. Oh. Hey, the keeper's on steroids too. <laughs> I also heard that when you're a keeper, it's not just the post that's your best friend. It's also the crossbar. Oh. 40 minutes on the clock and Cecil plays it to Galli. He puts 200 on the board. And he takes it past another M-Boys player putting another 200 on. He cuts it back and there's just too much on the cross. Two minutes till the half-time whistle and the wizard gets his wand out and has a go. Oh, shit. <laughs> keep us, keep us, keep us, got some judge, it? <laughs> Bad judge. <laughs> and the referee blows his whistle for half time. It's been a half completely dominated by the wall, but we just can't seem to put the ball in the back of the net. We gotta make sure we put our shooting boots on in the second half, because the longer it stays at nil nil, anything can happen. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's impossible, but if someone says to me, all right, you can cheat a little bit then I can be closer to you. But if not, it has to be one of your wide men that come closer to you as well. Because even though we're starting wide, when the ball goes into you, they can come in and get the ball. It's only three at the back. Well, no, but I said, but they're only playing three at the back. No, no, yeah, so right. why, can't we, why can't we have, um, why can't when it goes into you, one of them come in and then gives us time to come up? Talk when you're attacking. Yeah, one, twos, yeah, in behind. Demand yeah. where you want it. To my feet. Yeah. Everyone's just, just there, Expectation. waiting. Oh, yeah. Boy, what are you going to do with it? Tell them what you want, it, what, the ball. That's, you got to tell them how you want the ball, you've got to believe. And we've got to take on these players and beat the men. They're easy to take on, guys. We've got to take them on. They're getting tackled by them a lot. It's bobbly though as well. It's probably better to move the ball because it is bobbly. Yeah, but when it's one-on-one, -on -one, yeah, beat your man. man. Galley's, Galley's beating his man every time. Come on. Any defender here, you don't want to go into your box. So when the players run, take him into the box, man. We're cutting in too early. Why not take him in the box and then cut him? Because then if he tries to touch you, you can't. You get a clearer shot. We're cutting in so early, take him back, take him back, and then you cut in. First thing, which is the most important thing, which I said before, is about how we talk to people. The fact is, I can hear too much bickering and arguing and people not listening. Sometimes, yeah, we just got to be like, all right, cool. And then we figure it out. But we've got to talk with respect because we're not actually problem solving as a team. There's a lot going on and we're not also thinking, all right, well, that ball seems to be working into Cecil. Let's get close to him, which I heard people say. We are being lazy on our press. I've said that from the warm up. We're giving them way too much time. We're waiting till they got a first touch and then we're deciding to press. We never do that. We never do that. So what I'm saying to you guys is that the execution, I'm saying to Sean, some of the ideas are actually the right idea, but you're lazy in your execution. Final part, when you touch the ball, all right, cool, this is what I need it, where it needs it to be. This is what I want to do. But we're being very lazy, yeah, on the ball and off the ball. And that's why we're getting frustrated. Yeah, the keeper's made three de decent saves, but we should be putting these away. Just pass the ball, pass the move. You don't have to overthink it. You will see that, that Hollywood pass and it'll be a lot easier because you've got more time because you've been moving that team around. Be patient with each other, but move that ball with tempo and purpose. Back four, let, release the midfield, let them go. 
you'll be fine. In a 1v1, I'd, I would be willing to risk it. You will be fine. Like, you guys don't need to be spare at the back. Let them go. Let the midfielders go. And if you're not, I will take full responsibility for the instruction that I've given you. I've counted one shot on target from them that said he made a good save, yeah. We've had six shots on target and five off. That's 11 shots in total. And I've definitely counted times where we could have shot and didn't. So in total, we're looking at about 20. What's how do you win games? How do you win football as a sport? You score, you have to score. You're overthinking everything. You don't need to. The passes are, are around you. The simple passes here, we want to do the difficult one. Just, we can, I trust that you lot can go on the pitch and do great things. No problem at all, but you have to, you have to simplify it. Come, 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 come hands in, let's go. Wall on me, wall on three. One, two, three. Ooh. Corner to the boys. Chan whips it in. And it's on Cecil's head. And it just goes wide of the post. Oh, lucky. Reese is on the ball but loses possession. The end boy striker gets put in behind. And Bods does some amazing covering. Oh, oh no! It's a wall attack and the Wizards on the ball. He looks up and plays it out wide to Cecil. Cecil just takes it past his man whilst Perfect. adding 200 to his scoreboard. He cuts inside and looks up and tries to play it back to the Wizard. But the pass just overhit and Gaddy strikes it. But it goes way over the bar. Corner to the wall. And the referee gives a soft free kick against Reese. Oh my gosh, does he want to jump? Does he even want to jump? And if I had a pound for every time the boys kick the ball over the bar today, I'd probably be a millionaire. And I think Sace has got unfinished business with the M boys, Lionel. How? How is he offside? How? He's in front of him. He's in front of him. Oh, he's so fing cheating, man. He's fing cheat. So fing cheating. Hey, Lionel, stop fing cheating. During the game, I heard someone on the sideline ask Patience, what would Kim Kardashian say if you asked her how her family and her got famous? My ass! 57 minutes in, and it's a rare attack from M Boys. The winger gets it, crosses it in, but E Man clears it out. He drops it at centre mid who shoots. It's in the safe hands of SJ. With half an hour remaining and the boys looking for a goal, the gaffers are gone for a triple substitution. They brought on Eds for Javan, Gabs for Sheldon, and Jordy for Galley. Reese takes a quick free kick and plays it to Jay on the left hand side of the pitch. Jay cuts inside, looks up and plays a nice reverse ball into Chrissy. Chrissy looks up, plays it back into the box and it drops to Cecil. He just can't manage to find any space to shoot. And Gaffer says he's got some words for him. Pass the ball! What the f you doing, Cess? And since he's come back from injury, this season Seth has really been Mr. Reliable. Another one straight into his hands. 64 on the clock and Jay's just letting the M boys midfielder know that he ain't gonna get the ball off him that easy. He gives it to Cecil and Cecil picks up a foul. Just play through the lines. Guys, we just have to try and play because we're, we're mixing it up too much. 65 on the clock and E-Man does really well to win the ball back. And usually when gaffers make changes up top, it's because they want the substitutions to have a different outcome. Come on, Ed! Go again! Just don't see in the replay, I didn't actually realise that their keeper made another great save. Another substitution, and it's just not been Cecil's day today. The gaffers have taken him off and replaced him with Meeks. And after this clip, I think I might actually have to start calling him Mr. Reliable. Taper, said he, lovely. Corner to the wall, 15 minutes to go, and it's crossed in by Chan. The keeper parries it out, and it drops to the wizard, who has a strike. And again, the shot's gone over the bar. I'm not sure why, but today the boys have really struggled to put the ball in the back of the net. You know it's really not our day from when even the Wizards one day working. And I've seen Reese put this top corner before. A throw into the wall, and this time the opportunity drops to the skipper. And for you young boys at home, this is called a good yellow card. And I think Gabs has been working on his touch during pre-season. And at this point, I think the boys were getting paid to miss the target. Guys, listen, build it up. That's not working. And this clip here just sums up the whole game. Handball. Oh! Handball. Oh! And the referee blows his whistle for full time, meaning both teams take a point each. 
the boys really did miss out on a big opportunity to take all three points today. After a dominant performance, they just couldn't do what separates a good team from a great team and put the ball in the back of the net. I can't lie, the boys had ample opportunities to put this game to bed. On another day, we would have sent M boys home with at least a 6-0 drumming with the opportunities that were on a plate for us. But I guess it just wasn't to be. But as I always do, I just want to say well done to M boys, especially their keeper, and good luck for the rest of their season. But after two games played, that leaves us in eighth place with just one point on the board. It's definitely not a good enough start for the club. With games coming thick and fast, we know we've got to start putting three points from matches on the board sooner rather than later. I do just want to give a big shout out to everybody that came out of their house on the Sunday morning to watch and support the boys play and to everyone that tunes in at home. I'm going to ask you guys again to make sure you hit that like button as it really does help the Wall FC family to grow. And if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button for come part of the bricks. Also leave a comment below of what you thought of the game or if you've got any questions for any of the players or the gaffers. If you also want to find more Wall FC content, then head over to our Instagram, our TikTok or our Twitter at the Wall FC. Next week we take on Kamazi Strikers in the third league game of the season, knowing that nothing will be good enough apart from the three points. So make sure you tune in next week and if you haven't already, go back and watch the first game of the season. I've been your boy Skipper J and we'll see you next week. Why are you standing near the halfway line? I don't want you there. You're my winner. He's, he's in front of you. Do you know what I'm saying? Or go and join in with him. I'm shouting at you. are standing there. I'm shouting, Jordy, go and join in with him. And then you've reacted. He's gone wide. I've pulled in the gap. So he goes over that so I can give it the ball to him. You're going forward with the ball and Jordy's just standing behind you. Yeah. So what I'm so saying in your, is... In your head, what do you feel like you should be doing? Standing behind be him or helping him? him? There you go. That's what I'm saying. And I've shouted at you and I've said, Jordy, Help him, yeah, and then you've gone. Though, yeah, but no, 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 it's constructive. 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 I said to him, Jordy, go and help him. We're saying point. It's not individual, man. It's collective. You're not finding. You're not finding the point he's making. It's just across the board. Last week, I stood in front of you guys and said, "I'm going to take responsibility for management." I took responsibility for pre-season. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, Sean also takes responsibility. So does Leon. Yeah, but the fact of the matter is, is that today was so f embarrassing. And I, I didn't even want to talk. I didn't want to talk. But I'm telling you guys that I'm leaving my son to go and play a game where I should be watching him to come here and I don't feel that the commitment. It's like last season, the beginning of last season. It's the same thing. And we're just asking people to do basic things and people think that they're better than what we're telling them to do. We should have smashed him today. We didn't do what we wanted to do because our attitude is all off. The way we talk to each other is terrible. The fact of the matter is, across the board, it is <laughs> Not one person's not gonna save this team. Two people's not gonna save the team. Everybody's gonna save the team. Like, you know how many people are taking delight in what's going on here at this club right now? So just forget the egos. It's not about one person. It's not about I did this and I did that. It's not about that. Every single person, just get in for a second. From top to bottom, yeah, left to right, we are not on the same page. Some of us are thinking about getting other players in. Some of us are washing kit. Some of us are paying for pitches. Some of us are paying subs. Mm. Some of us are pregnant. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm bringing ourselves here. Some of us are filming. Some of us are doing other things, basically, that allows a football club to run. And some of us are turning up and putting our kit on and f***ing off. That's the truth. And we got ourselves in the same rut last season where we went on a good four, five, six games of losing because we were not on the same page. The quicker that we get on the same page, the shit like this does not happen. But the frustrations are coming from the people that are doing that little bit more. So the people that are leaving their kids at home, the people that have got commitments in the morning but are still finding themselves here, the people that know they could be at work but aren't, it's the people that are doing that little bit more that are getting pissed off more than others. But, the, the, but those that turn up and play don't feel it. And then what ends up happening is those that are doing that more are carrying the weight of those that are not. That is the truth. So if you know deep within yourself that you turn up and you put on your kit and you f off home and you don't feel it, then the problem is, is that we do. But at, at the same time, I'm not willing to continue to take responsibility if you guys won't. Mm. That's the truth. Everybody has to go home and feel like you did something wrong. Mm. Because you did. We all did. I feel like no one here wants to serve the club. You're all trying to serve yourself. Come here willing to serve. To serve your brother. We're a unit. It's all about what am I going to do today? 
Yeah. And it showed in the f***ing game. Yeah. Every minute, every man just taking a shot, trying to... I get we're trying to create a moment, but it's... Let's play as a team, boys. Yeah. And when we're talking to each other, I get so that your your the way you say it sometimes might not might not be right, but still just listen to what's being said rather than the tone sometimes. Go home, think about it. We ain't got time to soak about it. We have to just. Wall on me, wall on three. One, two, three. Ooh. Where we 